If you've been on Hunter's YouTube page, which I'm sure you have, you've seen me doing a lot of different products. The DOS 3000, the ADOS link, the Maverick with Rick. Now we're gonna cover the HD Elite Balancer. This balancer is gonna be able to handle some of the custom 4x4 stuff that can come into your shop and you don't wanna turn it away. The Elite can do this. And Rick's gonna show us how to do that next. We've got this large yeah. reverse drop, heavy four x four custom tire. We're seeing these all over the road right now, right? You know, you go, you drive anywhere, everyone's got these on their, on their truck. Yes. They're expensive, they're delicate. We've gone over the procedure in a past video on actually using the Maverick to do that tire correctly. But now this is gonna take a little bit of a different approach to balancing it than we may have in the past because of the size and the spacing on it. So what are we gonna to do to get this thing balanced and vibration free for the customer when it leaves the shop? Yeah, um, these, these have a hard time fitting on a standard balancer. So a lot of shops don't balance them or they balance them incorrectly. So what we're gonna show you today is the Hunter HD Elite being able to tackle a project like this for our customers and for their customers to give them an accurate overall balance so they drive smooth down the road. Sure. So th the one thing to point out with an AT HD balancer is that the spindle is actually longer for those higher offset wheels like a semi-truck wheel and tire assembly. So it allows us to be able to accomplish that task of balancing these crazy offset wheels um, with an electronic balancer. We do have a ton of accessories, uh, depending on what you're working on. And uh, there, there's master kits, there's, there's smaller kits, and you can buy um, each collet um, individually too. So, um, yeah, so we could probably do like 50 a, videos and using 50 different yeah, types yeah. of adapters. <laughs> but yeah. of course, if you ever had any questions in the field, give your rep a call, they'll help you out. Yeah, and, and come by for training or if you forgot something or you're missing something, they can help you out as well. So. Yeah, the easiest way to get a hold of us is to go on hunter.com, enter your zip code that your shop's in, and it brings up your team of representatives to support you. So it's super easy. Yeah, super easy. In this situation, we have uh, what we call a medium duty collet kit. It consists of a spacer ring, uh, direct fit collets, and a um, universal flange plate to allow us to be able to clamp down that wheel sufficiently from the lug nut holes. So we can just go ahead and uh, get started on this. And um, the nice thing is, just like the Maverick had, we have a wheel lift on this guy. So we don't, we're not lifting anything up on that spindle. Plus it protects our spindle too. From droppage. Yeah, 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 that, yeah. Can, that can really damage you, that balancer permanently. It doesn't help, for sure. <laughs> the, um, this does though, lifting this it does. up, yeah, that, yeah, that's we got nice. Our little toggle handle here, and then oh, look at that. we're gonna lift her right up and get her kind of close to the height. And then we're just gonna set up our collet fitment, right? So um, we've got a, uh, a wheel here that will accept our uh, double-sided medium direct fit collet, medium duty kit. Um, this, this has a, a shallow stop on it so that we can just bottom it out on there. We don't have to worry about it fitting on a hundred different wheels, this is specific to this bore size. So it really gives us that accurate centering on the spindle. Uh, we're just gonna check that fit right here. And that's gonna be our collet to use. Whenever you're using these collets, we have to actually set it up because this collet will actually bottom out on the face of the spindle here. So what we have to do is we have to make that hole bigger and we have to build it out a little bit. And that's what we're gonna use with this aluminum spacer ring. It's a massive hole in there. So we're gonna use this guy and sit it on our spindle. That's gonna build our spindle out and allow our collet to pass through and get some spring tension on it for centering. Now, one another nice thing is if they're not sure yeah. what collet size or what adapter to use, it's all it's hanging right here for me to take a look at if I needed to. Yeah, it, they're even numbered. So if you look up the year, make and model and it tells you use number 16, grab number 16 and go for it. Nice and easy. Yeah. Slide that on here. And then we're just gonna slide our wheel back on. Adjust our wheel height here. 
and then sit in, get it centered. There's a lot of text right now that just went, oh, my back feels better already. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. Um, our flange plate is already set up. We do have multiple positions. We can grab these pins in here and then it allows us to use anywhere from five to so eight. We're going right in through the lug nuts. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we're going to hold it down. We're actually, if you think about it, we're actually mounting this tire just like it would sit on a vehicle. And that's also great because of that custom wheel. I don't want something on the front of that that could scratch it. No, we don't want to put it, use a cup on this. Yeah. It's not flat and we could scratch it. And we're going to grab our wing nut, catch that to our spindle. Take some pressure off there. Tighten it up good. Now on a tire like this, what am I going to select since it's kind of four by four? I don't want a semi, but I don't, I don't want to, do I want a car? Bad, what kind of, what would you recommend? I would, I would probably suggest uh, a car. It's going to give us our lower tolerance. Now, people don't expect these to drive as smooth down the road as, as a highway tread. Yeah. So we're going to give it, we're going to look for abnormalities, right? Pretty much. And just make sure that it's true and it's, it's going to give us the best overall balance and drive down the road as possible. Um, I would probably just stick with car just because okay. it, it is on a, it's an eight lug wheel. It's it's probably on a light light truck. Half, uh, now also, we know we're not gonna put any weights on the outside of this rim. Right. So right. we stick with the inside and, and right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so there's a few different ways we can do that. What we wanna do is we wanna gather up the information first. So we okay. wanna get this thing spun under load, get all our variables done, and then we can modify it from there, which you couldn't do in the past. No, so I'm curious on how that's gonna work. Yeah, so what's really nice about this camera-based system is it actually measures the entire profile of the wheel, which is represented up here with our Hunter logo. So what's nice about that is with wheel placement, we can shift that on the fly. So we can change that up as we're balancing the tire. We don't have to gather more information or remeasure if we wanna change weight placement. And there's a couple neat features on here too that allow us to really customize our weight placement. Especially when you wanna hide them. Or, yeah, you know, yeah, so hide behind yeah, spokes, absolutely. things like that. Great. Yeah. So we're just gonna make sure that this is nice and tight and that we're on here centered and then we're gonna let it be still. What we really want is, especially on this machine, uh, from a technical point of view, is we really want the machine to measure how the mass of this wheel because that's gonna change a lot. Remember this, this machine has blinds built into it and it's gonna change whether those blinds are, the variables on those blinds based on if it's a car, bus, or, or semi-truck. So we really want it to initiate that wheel spin and find out how much torque it's taken. So as soon as we get this mounted up, all we have to do is lower the hood because we're ready to go. We're not measuring anything, the measure machine nothing. has to do it. So we're just gonna lower this hood and let her spin. Now at this point, it's measuring the outside profile and it's measuring the inside profile. No arms to pull out, I don't have to. I don't have to measure right. the, none of that. Nope. And you can see we're right underneath that um, 20 mark there. Oh yeah, that is a lot lower than I expected yes. on a tire like this. Yes. And I also like that it said, hey, single weight solution found, which is also really nice. Yeah. I'm putting weights all over the place. Right, which tells you that there's actually only a static imbalance with this wheel, if it can take a single weight solution. Which is, that's, that's represented right on here in our smart weight calculator right there that shows the, the couple balance versus the static balance, and it shows where that limit's based upon. Okay, so we don't have to hang two weights because we don't have any dynamic imbalance. It's still intolerance. We only have a static imbalance. So we can, we can get away with one of these, just hang a single weight and be done. Which 175 isn't that bad. Now on a tire like this, we've always mm -hmm. kind of gone with the 25 to 50 ounce range is felt as an imbalance by a consumer. So we try obviously to get this number as close to zero as, close to as zero. possible. On a truck like this, 50 probably won't be felt by a customer. No. But we still wanna make sure that we do get to zero the best that we can as a technician. Right, and Smartweight 
The SmartWave technology that's built in here already gives you that offset. It's already got it built in with what, the limit is what the customer is gonna feel. So if, if, if the customer is not gonna feel a half ounce, that's already built into that. And if you used Hunter balancers for the last 15, 20 years, that SmartWave technology is not new. That's been around for a long time. It has, it has. And you'll notice that when you balance a wheel out, it won't say zero, it'll say okay. Okay, yeah. Because it's within the tolerance. Yeah. And green. <laughs> Which we green like. And red, yes. All right, let's balance it out. Yeah, so what's nice about this is we can shift on the fly here. We can we can actually tell it where we want to put the weight in retrospect, and then we have this single weight solution found, so we're just going to use that as our uh, go-to. Oh. What's really nice is we have, an, we have an outside diameter of the wheel, which is a 36-inch diameter tire and wheel assembly here, and then we can actually look at our dimensions, and we can say, from this point, this is the profile of the wheel, where are we going to hang that weight? How it deep? showed exactly where he yeah. needs to go. Not only here, but a, there's a laser down there's there There's a laser well. on there oh. that'll indicate And it, it points exactly where you need to go. It you're does. not guessing. No, you're not. The laser's not telling you exactly where you need to go. So on these custom wheels, we have found that a lot of times we can't put a weight where it tells us to put because maybe we have an oversized brake system on the car or truck in this case. <laughs> um, and maybe a caliper will hit it or something like that. So what's really nice about this, since we know that profile, we can actually change where the balancer is gonna tell us to put the weight and it'll re-predict how much weight we're gonna use. So, and that's called enable dragging. So we can click on that and then we can actually shift this weight anywhere on this wheel assembly and it's gonna actually and change our prediction. Change it right there as well. Yeah. For this instance, we'll just go with what they tell us to do. And then we're gonna close out the dimension screen um, as soon as we click on the weight, what's nice about this, we can change it from grams to ounces with a touch of the screen and just like our iPhones and Androids. And then we're going to grab uh, an ounce and three quarter. We know we're going to be on the inside of that lip and we have a super special spot, smart spot right here. So it's actually got a dot to tell you exactly where to put that weight. It's sure. It's, it's no guessing. There isn't any I guessing. I love it. And in this world, we just need to be fast, efficient, and accurate. And yes. that's what Hunter has built here. Love it. Got you some weights. We'll throw Great. those on there. and. Uh... So we have half ounce <clears throat> weights. We need an ounce and three quarter. All right, so we're just going to hang this down. We want the center of the dot and the center of the weight and the weight to sit flat on the wheel. Tech tip, clean the rim before you put these on. We've got yes. a brand new rim. We're good. But in the field, take some brake cleaner, wire brush. Clean that surface area off yeah. so that you have a good adhesion for yeah, the weights. Yeah, a lot of companies rim. sell surface prep so that you can get a, a clean, oil-free, wax, grease-free surface to be able to clip these. Really don't you don't want, want these weights falling off. No, I don't. I, I really don't. No. All right. So you put your weights on, and then we're going to do it. What we call a check spin. So it's not going. It's going to still check it. It's not going to remeasure any dimensions, and it's not going to do a the load roller on there. But it's just going to check the spin. And we're looking for an OK. So just like you were saying, no zero show up, but OK. We're OK. We're within tolerance. So that's how we're going to get the most accurate balance out of a wheel assembly like this is with the Hunter HDI. I thought it was going to be a lot more challenging and a lot more weight required, um, but turned out pretty good. Yeah, this, this will ride as smooth as it can with these big knobby tires down the road. Yeah, that's great. Hey, thanks for showing us how to do this larger tire on this mm -hmm. HD Elite. And I think we should get into maybe 19.5 next? I say let's go for it. Sounds like a plan. Hey, make sure you uh, check out the 19.5 balancing video on the HD Elite with Rick showing us how to do it so you know how to do it in your shop as well. Thanks for watching.